Hey guys, James and Mark here. Today we are gonna be heading to Joshua Tree for our three year wedding anniversary celebration. We just dropped off Hedu. It's always sad when we drop him off, but he seems excited to go to the pet hotel. Like he's Everyone all... loves him there. <laughs> we're gonna do a quick pit stop for lunch and then the remainder of the weekend, we're gonna be heading to Palm Springs and enjoying some time out there. Let's go. So we just uh, parked at this place called The Brass Tap. I have outdoor seating, some like pub food. The funny thing is they asked, are we gonna drink anything? It's like, uh... Well, how can you drink if you don't have your ID, James? <gasps> Did you grab a wallet from the car? Oh my gosh. You keep forgetting <clears throat> it. So they got street tacos, they got burgers, they got flatbreads, nachos. I actually forgot that we were wearing the matching sweater. <laughs> <laughs> the first drink of our vacation. Ooh, this is good. What's this? You'll see. Ooh, Ooh warhead status. Ooh. The Maui pineapple wheat beer. Ooh, this one tastes like vacation. James, you're not wanting to drink coffee this morning because you didn't want to um, you want to make sure that your stomach would be okay for the trip but you got a sour <coughs> beer isn't this like a almost kombucha status okay so we got the fried cheese curd it comes with two dipping sauces i was craving this they look nice and melted almost like a tater tot it almost looks like a honey oh honey would be so good with this i love honey and chicken and nuggets so this would be good Oh, you love the big and thick sauce. Thick nice. sauce. Yeah. Mmm. Honey and cheese makes so much sense. You eat it on charcuterie board, why not in a fried tot? Mmm. Mmm. So yeah. spice to that one. You guys think, I think Mark's gonna really like the honey one. Oh yeah, it has my name written all over it. Mmm. Mmm. Right. So we got some cod beer battered tacos. We're gonna split this. And then we also got a is this a steak flatbread? Mmm. Mm. How is it? You know how sometimes fish is like too battered? This is like perfect amount of batter on the fish. Ooh. There's some kind of Tabasco sauce on here. So it has that smoky flavor. Mm. I was not expecting that. So Mark is back. He ditched me for a little while. Did you have an accident? You okay? Oh. You okay, girl? What is that? I peed up here. <laughs> <laughs> My wee wee's up here. Yeah, I stop. No. <laughs> a honey accident. And no, this time I didn't pour it on him. Dang right, Carrie. And it's just like wow. a so it looks like we are about 40 minutes away from our destination. We just passed the casino and I find it very suspect, very sus, that Mark chose the lane where we're stuck. Look, there's no way out, there's no exit. We just went to the bank, I pulled out some hundos, thought I could go by to the blackjack table real quick, and no, plans have been thwarted. We are heading straight to Josh Tree and now I'm not kind of, I'm not mad that we're gonna pass all these windmills that you don't like to look at. Fine, I'm gonna turn around and we're gonna go straight home. There are these massive windmill structures that is pretty much our least favorite thing about going out to the desert. What is it about it? I don't even know. I think it's creepy. I don't like to look at it. I don't like how they're all lined up, all moving in the same direction. A bunch of these windmills, just straight up in the desert collecting all solar energy realness. Well, it's not solar, it's wind, right? <laughs> Whoops. We just made it to the entrance. We're just waiting in line uh, to pay the fee to go in. We really only have time to check out like one main uh, landmark in Joshua Tree. It's like this dam. I'm hoping there's running water there because I'd be so sad if we I hope it's on. a beaver dam. What's a beaver dam? Oh, a dam like... made by beavers. It's <laughs> so cute. Then after that, we're gonna go check into our little tiny homes. go on 
on the Barker Dam here. And we're just gonna do this loop around. All right, we're starting our little hike. It's gorgeous out here. It's beautiful. And what, what temperature are we sitting at right now? Like low 50s. So it's like perfect for these matching sweaters you got for us. <laughs> Happy anniversary. <laughs> it's actually more green. Is it because it rains lately? Are you allowed to touch it? That's not a good Joshua tree though, because Joshua tree needs to be all gnarly. The fresh air up here is amazing, guys. It's nice to get away from the big city and appreciate nature in all of its glory. Look how beautiful the rocks are. They kind of look fake, like Disneyland rocks. Yeah, this doesn't look real. And it's nice, it's not super crowded today. Maybe it helps us a Thursday. Maybe there is no water today, because look it up ahead. Doesn't it look like that used to have some water? This looks like it used to be a lake, huh? Yeah. So we just made it to Barker Dam. It's right there. You can see from the rocks where the water level used to be. Good hike. We needed to do something active before towards, you know? Yeah. All right, we ended the hike without any casualties. We're all in one piece. And now we're gonna go check into our tiny home because it should be around four o'clock now. Make some dinner, drop, drop, jump in the hot tub. Have a bunch of wine. Yes, wine. Oh, stargazing. Stargazing. Stargazing yes. wine. Just pulled up to our tiny homes. So we originally were supposed to stay in a yurt, but... Oh, that's right. It sustained some wind damage, so the host actually canceled. So at the last minute, we booked this place, but this is nice. This is really nice. So that's, I guess, the tiny home with the deck. But let me show you. We're going to hang out here later tonight. The little deck up here. Oh, yeah. Some lounge seating area. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh hot tub. this is the hot tub. There's water in here. Oh, it's hot. Already? I mean, I smell chlorine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but it felt hot. And this is the grill that we'll use. Oh my gosh, look at the view. Oh my gosh. This is fun. I've never been in oh a tiny gosh. home before. I, what do I do? Where do we start? So this looks like a little. I don't, I don't, I wouldn't sit on this, but looks like you might be able to, but there's like decorative pillows or linens. This looks like the dining table. This is a dining table, look. but this is also a Murphy bed. Okay, so we got our living room here. Oh, and then TV here. Wow, this is a nice, like, setup right here. So nice. No? The lights. Oh, yeah. This is pretty big too. This is really spacious. There's this little peninsula here or some. Yeah. Microwave. Coffee set up. They have the herbs, so that'll be great for our steak later. Oh, well, there's condiments. Condiments and cherry gold butter. Yeah, Should we take that home? And then stove. And then. Oh, this is a full size stove. Yeah. Wow, I love this color. <laughs> Toilet seats behind here. Oh, that's a full size toilet. It's been sanitized. Mm. Oh gosh. And now how do we go upstairs? So there's this ladder bridge here. Oh my gosh, see, I, that's why you wanna... Uh, the, uh, and then I, I guess it hooks onto these two here. All right, let's go up. I still think for sleeping, we might have to use the Murphy bed here, but... This is sturdy. But girl, I hope you lost a... Uh, maybe we shouldn't have had lunch earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so let's see. That much room, I barely could sit. You sure you wanted that second beer earlier? I need it for courage. Oh. Watch your head. You're not even paying attention. <laughs> yeah. Come like with. Plus oh, something cracked. I mean, not bad. I look like a beached whale. Yeah. Mmm, this ain't cute. And then even look at outside the window. We're allowed to, um... There's like a view. 
We're out to uh, wander out there. So we're gonna get dinner started, and before we get started, we have to pop a bottle of wine. So checking? this is Chateau Terrepe Yem. <laughs> Yem. Uh, this is really good wine. We actually got this at Issei. Oh. They, they carry that. You wanna cut the foil off first. That was so satisfying sounding. Cheers! Oh! Kipun mat. Kipun mat. Kipun mat. Kipun mat. We picked up steak. Oh, this is the ribeye, and this is the New York steak. Mm. New York steak. We're gonna keep the seasoning basic, right? Well, usually we do salt and pepper, but we saw this at the market, and I'm like, oh, Weber mixed grill. Mm. So it's, this is pretty much salt and pepper, but maybe some garlic powder and onion powder. Ooh. We also are going to eat it with some asparagus. Mm. I was going to throw this on the grill too. All right, we're ready to put these on the grill. Yeah, asparagus, um... You said five to seven minutes, but I feel like... I'll start cooking once I flip this over. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, look at those grill marks. This baby's on there. Ooh. Butter time. So, I don't know how to butter steak on a grill because i think if we put dollops of butter it's just gonna slide off okay you know apply some foundation apply some concealer and foundation yeah put it on the grate just to like get it extremely hot and then <laughs> <laughs> okay maybe don't don't listen to me so we got our steaks here we got our asparagus here, and then we just did the shortcut with the starch. We just got the scalloped potatoes, and we just microwaved those. Our air brain does not have steak knives, so we're using butter knives. So don't. Thank you, chef. Well, you help too. Thank you. Mmm. <laughs> I haven't had that like char grilled steak in a long mm -hmm. time, huh? could definitely taste the layers and layers of previous food that's been on that charcoal right? <laughs> Which, it's that's delicious why, though. That's why it makes it good. Mm -hmm. Oh, did you add lemon zest to this? Mm -hmm. I'm so fancy. We added a uh, shredded parmesan and lemon zest to our asparagus. Oh, it's cooked but it's still very crispy. It's good. This is our anniversary dinner. <laughs> There may be some romantic happenings, maybe. No guarantee. But wait, was it smart just end for dinner? Then. <laughs> no, I was gonna say. Oh, is it smart for us to get asparagus? Ew! What are you talking <laughs> about? You got me excited for nothing. Actually, the plan is to just um, chill out for a little bit afterwards, and then um, make use of the hot tub because there's a hot tub here. And look at the stars. All right, we're about to start the fire. I'm already done. Look. <laughs> we got this pit thing going on over here. It's kind of hard to see, but. Can we do all the fire? What? Might as well, because if we don't, then what are we going to do with the rest? So we have this fire starter. Why does it look like it matches your outfit? <laughs> so I, I guess this goes in first. Oops. Right? But we need to have make sure there's enough airflow. Oh! Huh? We're gonna get the hot tub squared away. It's steamy. It's about to get steamier. <laughs> I didn't even go in the pool and Mark is acting like he's the coldest thing ever. It's oh, sh it's cold. <laughs> Can you turn off the top top light? Oh shoot, it's cold. I already finished mine. Does it feel good? Yeah. Alright, so we're in the tub. <laughs> it's about to get hot in here. 
Do you remember that one dating show where there was always a hot tub? Oh yeah, I think. Blind yeah. Date, was that what it was called? Look at this mood lighting. It's making my skin look like caramel right now. They're seeing everything. Stop! Good night. <laughs> see you tomorrow. You can't see this part. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.